Governor Andy Bashir now has until next Friday to respond to an impeachment petition filed against him. The committee formed to consider the petition. They met for the first time tonight. And as LEX 18's Catherine Collins explains, they'll also consider a call for the removal of a state representative. That continues our big story team coverage. The impeachment committee, made up of four House Republicans and three Democrats, met for the first time Wednesday. I know there's a lot of interest in this for the public, uh, rightfully so, understandably so. They'll consider the petition filed by four Kentuckians against Governor Andy Bashir. It claims the governor violated the Constitution through his COVID-19 orders. But after this meeting, where rules were set, committee chair Representative Jason Nemes said the members would not discuss the merits of the petition. Democratic member Representative Angie Hatton says this is a part of Kentucky um, history. I think that each of us takes that responsibility seriously enough that we're going to give it proper consideration, create a factual record, and whether it uh, anything comes of it or it's dismissed, we can be satisfied that um, we did our duty. Governor Bashir has said publicly he believes the petition is baseless. He now has until next Friday to respond to it in writing. Then the petitioners have until January 26 to reply. We we also learned the same committee will consider an impeachment petition filed against Republican Representative Robert Goforth over allegations he assaulted his wife. Goforth says he won re-election in November by a wide margin. That's all I know. I'm here doing my job as the state representative for my district and I'll continue to do so uh, for the term that I was re-elected for. The committee will meet again Wednesday, January 27th. Catherine Collins, LEX 18 News.